Hello, 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 TikTok. We're just going to do a final cleanup on this 64. I'll go wait for a couple people to hop in here. We are going to be working on this Morgan Silver Dollar, making that into a ring very shortly. So while we wait, y'all feel free to just tap the crap out of the screen for me. That'd be super. And uh, if you've never seen me before, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. On my last live, just a little earlier today, I finished this 1964 fine silver half dollar. Well, not fine silver, it's 90%. And once we break, let's say, 150 people, We'll get started on that, Morgan. So y'all just tap the screen a bit. We will be started here in just a moment. Tap it, tap it, tap, tap that screen. Let's go. The 64 is usually $150, but until the end of the day, it is 50% off. So you can get one for $75. I think is a pretty good deal. There's quite a few other things that are 50% off until the end of the day. I've had a lot of stuff 50% off all month long. Today is the last day for that sale. You can shop by tapping the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or the website linked on my profile. I gotta figure out how to get this out of the capsule. There we go. So, the first step in making a Morgan dollar into a ring is punching a hole right in the middle of it. So, that's what we're gonna do. Get our center punch here. This has got kind of a cone at the top, so as we tighten this down, it's gonna auto center our coin right in the middle. Very handy. We got three likes on this live, guys. 460 people watching and three likes. It doesn't seem fair. I think y'all can do a little better. I think you can. Especially since I'm smashing up over 100-year-old coin here. I tap the screen just a little bit. And again, you can shop through the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. You don't even have to leave TikTok to check out my store. Just tap that gold chain or go to the website linked on my profile. Let's go. Hammer this on through now. Yeah. Fantastic. There is our nice eagle center punch. We'll set that aside for now. Let's check out our coin. We almost got a thousand likes. There it is. A thousand likes. That's so much better. Thank you very much. Those three likes are getting on my nerves. So y'all crushed it. I appreciate it. Thank you. There is our nicely punched Morgan silver dollar. And if you look at the inside here, that's so shiny. 90% silver. It's very pretty. And these are 50% off as well if you'd like to get yourself one of these. I have a bunch of different coin rings that are half off for the rest of the day. So check that out. We're going to clean up that inside edge now with a deburring tool. See, it's a little sharp. So we're going to smooth that out. Yeah. Why would I ruin a coin like that? Uh, it's kind of what I do. I look at it as more of transforming a coin so that it can be appreciated daily. But if you want to think of it as destruction, that's, uh, that's on you. It's worth more before you destroyed it. Eh, maybe to somebody. But then again, it is uh, paid for. This is a customer's 
coin ring. So somebody wanted it, and somebody's going to get it. If anybody else wants to get one, coinringmaker.com is the place to go. You can also tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and test that out for me. Tell me what you think. I think it's pretty cool. When I started doing this, I only did quarters. And my first Morgan dollar made me so nervous. Like, I had so much, like, I don't know, like, sentimental, weird value to it. But once the ring was finished, I was like, no, nah, this is way better. Haven't really looked back since. No, it's not illegal. Uh, this is called a deburring tool. You can get them at a hardware store. Uh, it's very similar to penny smashing machines you might find at an amusement park. Six Flags, SeaWorld, stuff like that. And you put 50 cents in, you spin the thing, you smash your penny, and you get a turtle on it or something. Very similar legally to that. As long as I don't fraudulently alter currency, I'm not breaking the law. Paper money has different rules. I really only mess with coins. That may be something you, you may have to research uh, on your own. But there are definitely different rules for, for paper money and coins. Hop over here to my one-ton Arbor Press. We are zoomed in a lot. Let's pull that out. There's my one-ton Arbor Press. We got 1,700 likes on the live. Hope you guys are tapping the screen. I really think so. Um, I've got to make a few Morgan dollars this week, and they have all come out just beautiful. So I've got I've got really high hopes for this one. And he wants the tail side facing out. So we're going to take our coin. We're going to put the tail side facing down. And give it a nice fold up here. If anybody else has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I'm going to keep on promoting the 50% uh, off clearance sale. Because today is the last day. So if you want to check that out, tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or the link in my profile. I'd be happy to make something for you. A nice cone shape going here and you can already see all the nice outside detail that's going to be on this ring. I really like the Morgan dollars because you get the eagle's wings, and then In God We Trust. It looks really good on the top of somebody's finger. Good morning. Happy Halloween. Oh, I'm glad you made it in here. I was going to see if you were here. So this is, uh, this is his ring, this guy right here. So I'm glad you made it in here to watch. If you guys haven't hit that follow button yet go ahead and hit the follow button if you'd like to check out my shop there's a little gold chain at the bottom of the screen you can tap on and if you just want to hang out and watch me work uh, i would appreciate it if you tap the screen uh, we almost got 2,000 likes let's see if we can get to 2,000. it depends on the coin so this is a morgan silver dollar usually silver dollars are 200 until uh, the end of the day, they are 50% off. But I can also do a size 14 half dollar. Those are usually 150. Uh, right now, they're 75. And this is a finished uh, 64 half dollar I did earlier today. 
just as an example. They come out really, really cool. These are very nice. You do them as well? Cool, cool. Always nice to meet a fellow coin ring maker. What's your favorite coined ring? See, I'm lucky. This is this is my favorite one right here. The rupee? Ooh, that's a good one. Very nice. Have you ever done like the uh, the large Canadian scent? It's got like ivy leaves going all around it. It's really pretty. It's a shame they didn't make any in silver. Uh, if you'd like to get started doing this, I initially uh, focused on one specific coin. So I focused on quarters and that kind of um, limited the required tools I needed. So when working on quarters, you really only need one die. This is the one I recommend. This is a uh, one inch by 0 0.9 inch, 17 degree die. You can get them from Jason's Works or a Legacy Brand. Legacy Brand's a little cheaper. They're both good tools. Um, I also recommend getting a doming block. And these are like 40 bucks. This is like 40 bucks. Um, I recommend getting a doming block. You don't have to get a set with all these rods. The rods aren't very helpful, but a good, I don't know, like two and a half inch, I think it's two or two and a half inch doming block is good. And uh, some ball bearings, just a half inch ball bearing to get that first fold. Uh, you'd also need a 17 degree folding cone and uh, one ton Arbor Press, this thing right here. And with those basic tools, you can pretty much make uh, quarter coin rings. So that's a good place to start. I do have a recommended tool list on my website, uh, coinringmaker.com. There's just a button there with all my recommended tools and uh, links on where to get them. So if you wanna check that out, that might be useful. Most of the larger silver ones, I love the Morgan the most. Yeah, the Morgan is good. The Morgan is good. I'm gonna use the wooden cone instead. But I mean, you can easily end up spending quite a bit of money on coin ring making tools. I'm not gonna lie, but you can start with some pretty basic stuff. Maybe two fifty, three hundred dollars could get you started. That's about what I spent. What's up? No, no. We won't say. Well, no way, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> That's fantastic. I know it ain't easy to do. That that takes a lot of a lot of dedication, a lot of people working together. That's so cool. Way to go. Four point six out of a hundred. You guys crushed it. I have over forty eighteen forty six Morgans. Would you trade some for rings? If I give you Morgan, yeah, I could do that. I will give you a follow, Mister Romantic. Uh, if you follow me back, we can message each other on that, or you can uh, fill out the short form on my profile. Just go tap the get a quote button, and and we'll work something out there. I can make rings for for silver melt value for sure i'd be happy to trade because i am running a little low on these so that would be cool
You know what? I'm going to take a screenshot of your comment so I can remember it. I am the worst at... Yeah, I'm I'm a little short on Morgan dates. I do need to restock on the Morgans. You made the news. I will check that out later today. That's awesome, man. Well done. Love to hear it. He's still got a little bit of a nick right there that I need to sand down. I think the 1889 looks good. Or 1899. I think that's a pretty cool date. Got a couple of rings with some pliers, a bandsaw, and a rod. It's the size of my finger. Nice. <laughs> well, it sounds like y'all are crushing it. You must have a good director. I'd give him a pat on the back. You know what I mean? Maybe your drum majors too. Uh, for anybody who hasn't heard about it yet, today is the last day for the Coin Ring Maker October clearance sale. Got 50% off a bunch of coin rings. Uh, and you can check that out by tapping the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or the link in my profile. We're currently working on a Morgan Silver Dollar. Gonna make this a nice size 12 rings. It should look awesome. see where we're at right now. It is a little under a size 12, so I'm going to have to stretch this out. He has perfect pitch, which made it a little freaky, but helpful for tuning. Oh man, perfect pitch is so weird. But it is, it's pretty useful for tuning, no doubt. No man, I get it. I, I really enjoy making rings. Uh, when I first started, it's like I, I call them caveman tools. Uh, and I pretty much bought all these tools with the work I did with those super basic things. So I think that's a good way to start. It's also pretty humbling. And some people jump right into it, spend two grand on tools and quit really quickly. Because it's harder than I think. But usually the guys who start with like random ass tools uh, make it a lot further. So now we got it to a size 14. Very good. Kneel it one more time and then we'll start reducing it. Can you put it with my Indian if I haven't shipped it? I already shipped that. That is in the mail. It's already on its way to you. I work fast. Yeah, there's one guy here on TikTok who can do that. I can't think of his name, but he's got perfect pitch and it's, it's just wild. Like, he can hear a song and then immediately know how to play it on the piano. I'm, like, jealous, but also freaked out. Right? No, it's, it's in the mailbox.
Yeah, I could do it a little bit, but it's not perfect pitch accuracy. That's that's a whole nother level. Like I can tell if something's out of tune <laughs> pretty quickly. But getting it to perfect tuning, I usually use a tuner. I'm not gonna lie. Electronic tuners are uh, pretty freaking handy. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll leave the uh, the fire scale on there. Wrap some tape on it. This spool of tape is about toast. Yeah, I was thinking about just antiquing this one for you. You've been you've been very kind. So I think I think I can go out of my way to antique it if you don't want to keep it like this. And it's probably gonna change colors a couple more times. But I do agree that kind of frosty whiteness does kind of look cool. Yeah. Yes, this is a Morgan Silver Dollar from 1899. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, I started playing uh, in band in fifth grade. And they gave me a baritone. Not a lot of fifth graders playing baritone. Trombones, trumpets, clarinets, flutes. Then there's me in the back with a baritone. <laughs> what mint? Uh, let me see here. It's an O. Yeah, that coloration does look really, really cool. I was always jealous of the trumpets. They always got all the cool parts. They usually just gave me the, the trombone music. It wasn't until like middle school, high school, when they actually had like sheet music for baritone specifically. Always displayed the trombone parts. Yeah, the frost is neat. What does it look like when it's finished? Uh, you can see a uh, finished Morgan Dollar on my website, coinringmaker.com. I don't have one on hand. I've made two other ones this week, and they are both already in the mail. So if you want to see what it looks like when it's finished, you'll just have to hang out. It's a pretty high range, yeah. The French horns, man. Their range is ridiculous. Ridiculous. No, I like bass. The bass cliff bros. It should be getting pretty close. I 
still pretty far from that size 12 though. We got about a size and a half to go down. If y'all haven't hit that follow button yet, go ahead and hit the follow button. Uh, if you haven't checked out the 50% off sale, tap the gold chain at the bottom of the screen or visit my website, coinringmaker.com. It's linked on my profile. If anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I prefer the straight wall. Nice. Saxophones get some pretty cool stuff. They get cool parts. I was always kind of jealous of the saxophones. They were like the cool clarinets. You know? You guys can do all that jazzy stuff. You worked with Britney Spears for seven... Holy shit. <laughs> what was she like? How long have I been making rings? I've been making rings for about three years. Helped her get her deal. Very nice, dude. That's cool. I, I am thoroughly impressed. See, I told you that saxophones are cool, man. <laughs> you out here hanging out with Britney Spears. <laughs> yeah, I miss playing at football games. It was a lot of fun. She was actually shy and very professional. I believe it. What's the tape for? It helps protect the outside detail of the coin. So this uh, die is hardened steel, and if I just put the coin in there and made contact with it, it would uh, rub away the outside detail. So I like to have a buffer. Can we get it all the way to the bottom? We did. So now what I'm going to do is flip this upside down and reduce this wider end to meet up with this other one. We're getting there slowly but surely. She mentioned me in her third CD. She said, thanks, Nelson, for the incredible start on my career. That's so cool, dude. Yeah, it's it's Teflon, but it's a little stronger than the average Teflon. It's called Blue Monster, and I don't know, it's like three times as thick, so I just don't have to wrap it as much. I, I really like it. It's, it's pretty strong. Yeah, we got a blue ring here. Thank you very much. I'd be happy to make you something if you see something you like. We're getting there. So at this point, we've got a, a pretty flat side here, and there's a little bit of a lip on the inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to cut away at that because, um, I don't know, it's easier to make a, a comment. Yeah, we're going to get it straight walled, but I want to get rid of that lip first. So if I keep compressing it, the lip will eventually, like, uh, mash against itself. And if I do it too early, the angle on this cutting tool isn't quite right. So I do it about halfway.
I tell you what would be really cool. I don't know if this is out of line, but if you got Britney Spears one of my rings for Christmas, like that that would be pretty cool. I don't know if, if you're still in contact with her, but here's a Christmas gift idea. She might like it. I don't know. Uh, this is called a deburring tool. It's usually used by plumbers to clean up uh, burrs on the inside of pipes, but it's also really good for cleaning up the inside of coins. Good afternoon. Yep, today's going pretty good. I'm having a good day. I hope you're having a good day too. Happy Halloween, everybody. Still got a little bit of that lip right there. Can y'all see that? It's smooth on this side. There's still a little bit right there. And as I cut away at it, it actually gets sharper and sharper. I do the feel test to make sure it's all the way gone. So we'll keep cutting at it until it's nice and smooth and comfortable. I like this phone, but sometimes it has a real hard time focusing on what I want it to. I feel like the phone I had before was better at that, but the quality is better on this one. So it's a give and take. I've got a lot more storage on this one too, so I can keep a lot more videos on it and do more editing, which I like. thing worse than your phone battery dying is you're running out of space on it. Drives me nuts. Have I ever messed up really bad on a ring? I used to. So I used to think annealing, which is the process where I heat it up with my torch over here, was a waste of time. And I would split a lot of rings like this. Like a lot of them. And when I finally got over myself and started annealing and sanding this cut edge really well, uh, that problem just went away. So I... It, it took some uh, getting over being hard-headed about what the correct process is. And just kind of knowing what to look out for. I feel like I failed upward. Like I made enough mistakes that I can actually be good at this now because I've done everything wrong so I know what not to do if that makes sense uh, 
That should be pretty good. I've collected a few coins. I don't have a huge collection, but I've got a few that are a little more valuable, valuable than the average coin. I don't go out of my way to buy valuable coins, um, but I have found a few in circulation that I've hung on to. Most of the coins I buy end up being rings. Looking pretty cool. Now I can really lock in on the ring size. Wrap it in some tape real quick. Yes, um, what I recommend to stop copper from turning your fingers green is clear fingernail polish. Uh, it's because it's pretty cheap, it's widely accessible, and it works pretty well. So you just coat the inside of the ring, the outside of the ring, with some clear fingernail polish every you know, two weeks or so. And uh, that works. that works quite well. Yeah, no problem. Now, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Uh, if you'd like to check out more of my work and my process, I do have a YouTube channel that has like longer form videos on it. Uh, it's called Coin Ring Maker, so you might want to check that out. I, I just recommend it to the customers. I don't myself put it on the rings, because uh, some people uh, feel differently about copper. I need my Yes. Okay, because Ashlyn did get a notification. She just can't get on. That's cool. And give you all the hugs. That you <laughs> it's okay. Let's see where we're at. Still too small. But it's better, or too big, I guess. Still got some reduction to do. Yeah, no problem.
happy to help. As the ring gets smaller, you're pushing more and more metal into a tighter space and it starts to get a little uh, difficult. Gotta use a little more elbow grease. how it's looking right now a little flared out on one side that's okay at about 11 and a half so I'm gonna stretch it a little bit show you me stretching it a little bit. Cutting right through that paper towel. Bam. Yeah, that's looking pretty. I'm gonna reduce this side just a little bit. Give it a little curve. Still, sorry my phone's gonna go sideways because I'm charging it. There's still a little bit of a hump right here. We're just gonna remove a little bit more silver there. What do I do with the grindings? Oh, it's all 90% silver. Um, I just keep them in little tubs like this. Eventually, I'd like to melt them down and cast some stuff with them. But I don't currently have the equipment necessary. So for now, I just kind of hoard it.
very close to a size 12. Do a slight stretch. Should be done. Perfect. All right, so we've got little bits of blue tape in the letters here. And usually I knock that out with a steel wool, but that's going to make this coloration go away. So if you don't mind, I'm going to I'm going to clean it up and then antique it for you. Like the frostiness is it looks pretty cool, but I think we can get a better look with antique. If you'd like me to leave it like this with the blue tape, um I could do that. Okay. We'll clean it up and then get fancy with it. Anyone else carving their pumpkins right now? Not me, I'm carving Morgan Dollars. Steel wool, yes, sir. But it's very fine steel wool. It's a four zero steel wool, so you're not scratching nothing up. Do you do more with the date? Uh, usually I do them with the date out. Uh, this week I've done more with the date in, which I like. I think this looks better. Like this. I think that looks great. But I'll do it either way. Yeah, this, it's got really nice detail on it. Sometimes this tape doesn't want to come out. Nice. How can you polish a stainless steel ring? Uh, my favorite polish is this right here. It's called Mother's. Uh, what I do is just coat the ring in this and let it sit for about five minutes and then wipe it clean. And that works on most every metal. 
So it'll probably work on steel. Okay, so now I'm going to get my liver salser solution. Yeah, most of the time. Well, no. Um, if you want to remove scratches, uh, four zero steel wool is a good way to go. Because it, it takes them away instead of leaving them. So you want to make sure you get the right steel wool. Uh, super fine, four zero. So I'm going to pop this in the tumbler for just a second to help clean up any oil or whatever's on here. And then uh, we'll pop it in the liver sulfur. That's the stuff right there. Let me go get some hot water. I'll be right back. Some hot water here. Put a few drops of our liver sulfur in there. And just stir that up a bit. Boy, howdy, that smells like skunk. P.U. Got our ring out of the tumbler. Just gonna finish drying this off real quick. Looks great. Why not do it outside? I'm just trying to get it done, man. 
It's windy and cold. So we're just going to uh, pop it in there and let it do its magic. This usually takes about a minute or two. You can already tell it's getting darker. Here, I'll go ahead and bring the camera closer. That's a good idea. Getting some nice kind of purplish, greenish, very dark. coloration there. Yeah, I've got another one to make after this. Okay, so one thing I do want to know, uh, Brayden, if it's if that's right, um, do you just want me to keep it super dark, or do you want me to kind of buff the higher details so that they stand out? Like, do you just want it to stay dark like this, or do you want me to hit it with a little bit of steel wool and bring some of those details out? tongs here. Both the details make a pop. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. In that case, I am going to let it sit a little longer so that we've got a nice base coat to work with. But we're getting there. How long does it take me to make a coin ring from beginning to start? It really depends. Um, I made a quarter coin ring last week in about seven minutes. Uh, this one's probably taken me about 45. So it, it changes every time. Some have taken me up to like three hours to do. Right. I think that's pretty good. What we're going to do now is dip in a little bit of water. And put it on a paper towel and cover this up. That is something I do not want spilled everywhere. Bigger, yeah, usually bigger coins take longer. Man, this looks pretty cool, all dark. How long did the Indian take? I think about 35 minutes. Man, that looks cool, man. Big difference between shiny and uh, dark. So we'll take our steel wool here and we'll just do a little light buffing. and easy.
no, now you can watch him make rings out of coins while you watch Spike heat up in my porch. It's the best of both worlds. Nice. Yeah, railroad spikes today. Yeah, I think that came out really, really good. Those are rad. Yeah, I dried it. I dried it off beforehand. I don't use the QMT. Just for kicks, we'll polish up a little bit of the pipeline. Alright guys, I'm all done with this one. I'll probably pop back on a little bit today. If you haven't hit the follow button yet, follow button. I'll catch you next time. Peace.